Well, good day to you. I'm chilling at the house, uh, getting a little time off from the road. And uh, this here's my coffee pot. I keep keeping the truck with me. You know, I don't need much. I don't drink a shit ton of coffee. I just drink, uh, oh, see that line three right there? That's about what I get. Enough to fill up this, this baby once a day. Get my morning going. And coffee pot gets a little dirty. You know, it's been washed. I put it in the dishwasher, which is not what a lot of people believe in doing. A lot of people don't believe in ever washing their coffee pot. But anyway, I, I was reminded of a my of something my dad taught me when I was a kid. He, when he did this, when he was teaching me this, he, he, my wife was present at the time and uh, my best friend at the time, I was in high school, was present. We were, we were going to see Green Day, I believe. I think we were heading to Dallas to go see Green Day. I don't remember. We're going to see a band somewhere. And um, he's like, hold on, I gotta show you something before you go. And I don't think it was I don't know. Anyway, he, so he takes the coffee pot, which it was a regular size household coffee pot, and uh, he gets us to dump some salt in it. Oh, shit. Well, I went a little overboard right there. He's like, just dump some salt in there. Okay. So there's the coffee pot with some salt. Okay. Well, he has us take some ice cubes and drop it in there. <laughs> and when we're we're standing there like, what the fuck is this? What is up with this guy? <clears throat> okay, so now, so now I've got ice cubes and salt. Okay. And then he's like, you start stirring it around like this. <laughs> now, can you imagine some, you know, high school kids having a 50-something-year-old man tell them to dump salt and ice cubes in a coffee pot before we go venture to do something? And he starts, he starts doing this shit, right? And then he's, he makes us, each three of us, he has us take a turn. It's like, yeah, here you go. Don't do it the other way. <laughs> and then it kind of starts getting easier to do. Go back and forth each way. Yeah, like this, like this. Right? And then he's like, he's like, now stop, now look. You see what's going on here? Oh, he goes, it's cleaning it. Oh my God. Because I don't know how well I uh, got in the, it was dirt, how dirty it was when I showed you. Like, you keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. All right? Now, let's come over here. So now, I'll take it and rinse it out. Okay? Just gonna rinse it out there. And look at there. That thing is clean, yo. That was like a... I, I guess this you know, a, I don't know if places still do it, but it, my dad just kind of said, you know, this is how they do it in the diner, you know? You don't, you don't wash your, your coffee pot with soap and water because it fucks up the flavor of the coffee. And same thing with your, you know, if you're like this deal here, like you're not supposed to wash this with a coffee, you rinse it and you're supposed to, you know, wipe it or some shit. You know, some people never wash their, their cups like this and that and whatever. I'm going to have this now. You know, sorry, we wash ours in the dishwasher. 
Ah, it's good coffee. But anyway, this is like the old school traditional way. I mean, I don't know. I just remember my dad showing me that. And that had been ran through the dishwasher when I showed it to you. And here it is, doing it the old school ice, ice cubes and salt way. What do you think of that? You ever heard of that? Leave me a message in the comments. Tell me what you think. Is, is that ridiculous? You've heard of that? That's how it's supposed to be done? Or that's just a goofy way? What the hell's wrong with you? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard? I don't know. Whatever. Leave a, leave a comment. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the little bell. Um, help your local Dooner Livingstone. And um, see you guys later. Ah!